Hey y'all, Taylor Lauren here. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about my life as a beauty queen, wife, and mama. In today's video, I'm going to be giving y'all a 24-month-old toddler organization update. Um, Blair actually turns two in November um, in a month, but I figured I would go ahead and get this video out for y'all um, a few weeks early because over the weekend, um, I went through her closet, we did some reorganization, um, she's had her big girl bed for a while, we put curtains up, so we did a lot of two-year-old transition things this weekend, so I figured I would just go ahead and get the video out for y'all. Um, and we're here in her bathroom, so I'm going to take you guys through how we organize her bathroom, her bedroom, um, just how we organize toys and things around the house, and how her eating things are organized in the kitchen. So here's her bathroom. We are brushing teeth now. We've been brushing teeth for a while. So she has um, her toothbrush and we have um, her toothpaste here. Um, we still keep her towel and washcloths here. Um, behind the door, her towel is hung up and we have her hair bows um, and headbands and things like that. We have her little jewelry box, her bathroom speakers, some medicine, cotton, cotton rounds, um, the battery operated nail file, just like some health things in here for her. Her bracelets, which she really loves. Um, her kind of more toiletries, her lotion. Her toiletry bag is underneath here for when she goes traveling with her grandparents or if we have an overnight trip or something like that. Um, we keep wipes on top of the toilet, and we have a few toys in the bathtub. Um, over the past couple of months, she's gotten more and more interested in bath time play and water and things like that. So we've added a little, um, a few more toys to her bath. And her body wash, we just let her play with the bottles um, after we use the soap. And she has... Her little stool here for when we sit on the potty y'all Blair still has not like actually gone in the potty she'll sit on it but she won't use it um so we are still working on that I'm not too worried um I mean she's about to be two most kids aren't potty trained until they're three so we're just doing it in moderation but I'm not too worried about it right now um and now let's go to her bedroom so here's an overview of her room um these curtains we just put up a few days ago um and about a month ago we took the front rail off of her bed so now she has a big girl day bed um but she gets out of bed obviously she night wanders and she likes to look out the window and she would tear up the blinds and the black shade that we had up here so we lifted um her curtains or the blinds up so she could see out the window and you know when she's night roaming she can just you know she likes to hide here in the curtain and look out the window um so that has been going very well um we do leave some toys out for her we always close her toy box at night but the toys that are out and her stuffed animals and her books are kind of what she can you know play with if she's not tired right away um, at bedtime, um, her TV is still here. Um, she has her little movie chair. Um, we hang her pajamas and her bonnet there during the day. Um, I recently reorganized um, her shelving behind her door where we keep most of her clothes. I went ahead and packed up um, a lot of her summer clothes, her shorts and everything. So we are getting ready for fall and winter. So we have pajamas. I have some preset outfits here. Um, these are just like extra short, extra tops. Um, and then I have short sleeve shirts and pants in this pile and then long sleeve shirts and pants in this pile. So this is more like right now for fall and then winter. Um, and presetting the outfits really just helps me. I put the shirt on top and the pants on the bottom and I can just, you know, grab and go. And she has her socks and her books. We keep the remote to her TV up here. And down here is 3T um, clothes. So the size she's currently in now is 2T. And um, we just have 3T um, starting off with like summer 
Um, so she obviously is going to need more clothes when that time comes. Um, but I'm trying to discipline myself and discipline the grandparents to not buy any more clothes for her um, because I'm trying to just keep everything on this one shelf. Um, so yeah, just because it becomes a lot. And with her closet, um, she is in a big girl car seat now, um, front facing. So we have just her infant car seat packed up here and like a little pillow seat. Um, her clothes, this section is 2T and then we have some 3T and then some 4 and 5T stuff in the back. Her keepsake boxes, more diapers and wipes, um, more like summer seasonal swimsuits, hats, um, a few like Christmas hats in there. And then she has a wide variety overflow of shoes from size 5 to size 7 over here. Um, she actually outgrew a pair of her size 4s today. Um, so she has one pair of size fours that she can currently fit. The size fives are still a little too big for her, uh, right now. So we may have to go get her another, um, size four pair of shoes, or I can like order one online. I saw some really cute ones, um, on Shein that I thought would be real cute. And then down here, we just have like an overflow of blankets and sheets. And that is pretty much her room, y'all. And now let's go to the kitchen and the living room. All right, so here in the living room, we have just a few things out. She has her truck, some puzzles and flashcards, um, her piano and like some musical toys here and that is pretty much it we try to keep the living room minimal she knows that it that she can take toys back and forth from the living room to her room but the majority of her toys stay in her room um, we try to create a designated space for Blair and not have all of her things like all over the house um, and then here in the kitchen she has her kitchen set my parents recently got her a shopping cart and some more food um, so she's in here with me while I'm cooking, playing pretend and playing along. Um, she loves to sweep up and mop with her little, um, set there. She is still sitting, um, in her high chair at the table. I am thinking about getting her, um, like a little maybe toddler table set either for her room or moving our wine rack and putting it there. Um, so we'll see. Um... And for, I'm gonna keep some of like her snacks up here. Um, she is in preschool now, so she's at school right now, but this is one of her lunch boxes that we just keep organized um, with the rest of our Tupperware. And this is kind of her section for where her things go. So she has three plates, I already prepped her dinner, so one of them is already in the fridge. Um, this one's from breakfast that I need to wash. And I'm thinking about getting um, another one for her. We have um, an extra water bottle. And this is just all kind of like stuff that she's outgrown, but we are still holding on to. Um, and her utensils live here in the front. And her bibs, which she doesn't really use anymore. Um, unless like we're eating something really messy like lasagna or something live there and then on our bar we have just a few um, things for her those are my vitamins but we have her Tylenol her elderberry um, and some sleep aid for those like rough teething nights um, and yeah y'all that is pretty much it uh, for the toddler organization video for 24 months Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.